The city of Ipoh is the administrative capital of the Malaysian state of Perak and is famous for its cuisine. Its food culture is driven by its majority Chinese population who are largely of Cantonese and Hakka descent. There is also excellent Malay and Indian food in Ipoh, the nasi kandar served by a prominent local mamak stall in continuous operation since the 1950s is nicknamed nasi ganja due to its supposed addictive properties. Specialty foods from neighboring towns are also available in Ipoh. Made from coffee beans specially roasted with palm oil margarine, Ipoh white coffee is arguably Ipoh's most famous export, and the drink is endemic to the old town of Ipoh. Notable dishes found in Ipoh Savory Bean sprouts chicken Chinese, ya kai ji also known as na choi kai or taj ayam, this is arguably Ipoh's most famous dish. It consists of chicken meat, assorted chicken innards, and locally grown bean sprouts blanched in water dressed with soy sauce and sesame oil. Beef brisket noodles Chinese, niu nan mian noodles, usually served on its own with a dark soy dressing, accompanied with stewed beef brisket cooked in the traditional Cantonese manner with white radish and selected spices in a clear broth. Chi chung fun Cantonese, zu chong fen a popular breakfast item, this consists of large pieces of flat rice noodles rolled up and served with sweet or spicy sauce. Unlike the chi chung fun in Kuala Lumpur, chi chung fun in Ipoh is served with minced pork and mushroom sauce, preserved green chili, a sprinkle of deep fried shallots and sesame seeds. Some eateries even serve chi chung fun with a curried gravy. Claypot chicken rice Chinese, wa bao ji fan chicken rice served in a claypot, traditionally cooked with charcoal. Typical additions include salted fish and lap chung. Bircham, a suburb in Ipoh is famous for claypot chicken rice. Curry chicken bread Chinese, ka li mian bao ji a bread or bun bowl filled with curry chicken. It is also known as golden pillow bread. A speciality of the neighboring towns of Kampar and Lukit of Port Dixon, Negri Sembilan, it is now widely available in Ipoh. Curry meat Chinese, a bowl of thin yellow noodles mixed with bihan in a spicy curry soup enriched with coconut milk, and topped with tofu puffs, prawns, cuttlefish, chicken, long beans, cockles and mint leaves, with sambal served on the side. Dim sum Chinese, dian shin a Cantonese specialty widely enjoyed in Ipoh. Several famous Ipoh dim sum restaurants are located at Jalan Liang Sin Nam. Dry curry mee Chinese, gan lao ka li mian blanched noodles tossed with soy sauce, then subsequently poured on with some curry gravy. Dry curry nojuli accompanied by slices of shredded chicken, char shao, cockles, and sometimes su yuk. Fish ball noodles Chinese, yu wan mian noodles served with round, spherical bites of fish paste steeped in a light broth on the side. Local variants may include tiny versions of fish balls Chinese, yu wan zi or the inclusion of sides like pork meatballs with cuttlefish bits and stuffed tofu skin rolls as accompaniments for the noodle soup. Another variant called hor he Chinese, he shi which is the teochew term for fish ball, is also found in certain eateries in Ipoh. Hor he is a teochew style noodle soup, with small fish balls, sliced fish cakes, preserved vegetables Chinese, dong kai bean sprouts or shredded lettuce, and savory fish dumplings in a fish-based broth. Hakka mi Chinese, ke ja mian a simple dish of noodles topped with a minced pork gravy. It is based on an older recipe called Dabumian Chinese, da bu mian the name indicates its place of origin as Dabu County, the center of Hakka culture in mainland China. Hainanese chicken rice Chinese, Hainan ji fan a much-loved Chinese classic, found in modest hawker stalls as well as upmarket cafes and restaurants. Ipoh laksa – Laksa served in Ipoh is very similar to Penang-style Assam laksa, differing only in the garnishes used. Kaya toast – Toast spread with butter and kaya, a sweet spread made from a base of coconut milk, eggs and sugar. Kaya toast or roti bakar in Malay is a popular breakfast staple and afternoon tea snack. Rendang – Perak has its own variants of rendang, the most well-known being rendang tok. 
Rendang tok uses a liberal amount of dried milled spices and unlike many other rendang varieties found in Malaysia, it is much drier in comparison, with the gravy being greatly reduced from prolonged simmering until all that's left is merely a thick layer that coats and adheres onto each piece of meat. Rendang tok can be found in some eateries and restaurants in Ipoh, and is usually cooked with beef. Salt baked chicken Chinese, yan ju ji This traditional Hakka dish is prepared by wrapping a whole chicken with grease paper together with salt and certain Chinese herbs and baked for several hours. With this cooking technique, the meat will not lose its tenderness and the essence of chicken can be preserved as well. The combination of salt and herbs gives the meat a unique flavor. Sar hor fun Chinese, Sha he fen e po is famous for its flat rice noodles, which is prepared with local unfiltered spring water. There are two varieties, Kai Chor Fun Chinese, Ji Si He Fen is served in a clear chicken and prawn soup with chicken shreds, prawns and spring onions. Chow Hor Fun Chinese, Chow He Fen is fried with a little dark gravy, as opposed to Penang Char Kui Tiao Chow Guo Tiao which has no gravy but is fried with egg, prawns and cockles. It is also different from Cantonese style Wat Tan Ho Wa Dan He which is completely immersed in clear, egg starch gravy. Satay or sat, char grilled meat skewers served with peanut sauce. Satay served in Ipo is similar to satay served elsewhere in Malaysia, but slightly on the sweet side and due to Ipo's majority Chinese population, eateries offering satay made with pork are not uncommon. Sotong kongkun Chinese, yu yu wang kai This is a dish of cuttlefish with kongkun and topped with a sweet and savory sauce. Tempoyak is a popular Malay delicacy. It is durian flesh which is preserved by fermentation in an earthenware urn. Commonly eaten with chilies and other dishes, it is well known due to the popularity of its key ingredient, durian, among locals. It is also used as a primary flavoring for gulai or stews. Wonton mee Chinese, yun tun mee and thin egg noodles with wonton dumplings Chinese, yun tun choy sum, char shao and a side of pickled green chilies. The noodles are usually dressed with a dark soy sauce dressing, with boiled or deep-fried wonton dumplings as a topping or served on the side in a bowl of broth. Yao zha gui Chinese, yu zha gui is version of the traditional Chinese crueler. The dough is shaped like a pair of chopsticks stuck together, and the name itself amusingly translates into, "...greasy fried ghosts". A breakfast favorite, it can be eaten plain with coffee, spread with butter or kaya, or dipped into kanji. Yang Liu Chinese, Niang Liao better known as Yang Tao Fu Chinese, Niang Do Fu in other Malaysian states. Items like brinjals, lady fingers, tofu puffs, tofu skin, bitter melon, chilies and are stuffed or mixed with a pork or fish meat paste, and are either deep fried or boiled and served in soup. A type of yam bean commonly known as hikama fritter Chinese, Sha Zhe Liao made with shredded yam bean and the aforementioned meat paste is usually offered alongside the stuffed items as well. Desserts and pastries Caramel custard, a classic dessert and a popular specialty served at some of Ipoh's most well-regarded food establishments. Chicken biscuits or kai jai pung Chinese, ji zi bing a popular souvenir for tourists to Ipoh. Despite its namesake, the original version of these confections contained no chicken. It is made from wheat flour, candied winter melon, pork lard cubes, sesame seeds, molasses and egg wash. The neighboring town of Kampar is also famous for these biscuits. Egg tart Chinese, dan ta Several bakeries in Ipoh specialize in these Cantonese-style custard tart pastries. Hiang pung Chinese, shang bing Flaky biscuits with a sweet filling, and are often bought as souvenirs by tourists to Ipoh. Among locals, Hiang Peng is famous in the suburb of Gunning Rapat, which is purportedly the pioneer in their production. Ipo White Coffee Chinese, yi bao bai coffee, a popular coffee drink which originated in Ipo. Unlike the robust dark roast used for typical Malaysian-style black coffee, kopi o white coffee is produced with only palm oil margarine and without any sugar and wheat, resulting in a significantly lighter roast. It is typically enriched with condensed milk prior to serving. This drink inspired the Old Town White Coffee restaurant chain, and instant beverage versions are widely available throughout Malaysia and even in international markets. 
Kakang Puda or Kakang Puda, originally from Buntong, Kakang Puda refer to a category of Indian snacks made of legumes, nuts or flour and many types of spices, roasted or fried to golden yellow. Kaya puff – pastries consisting of flaky pastry akin to curry puffs with coconut jam kaya filling. Kuih limas or Kuih tepung palita, a steamed confection wrapped in banana leaves which consists of two layers, the top layer is made with thick coconut milk, flour and a pinch of salt, the bottom layer consists of thin coconut milk with pandan paste, flour and sugar. Lemping pisang, Malay-style pancake which consists of mashed bananas and grated coconut wrapped in banana leaves and char grilled. Pomelo – Ipo is famous for its fruits, such as seedless guava, sempedic, durians, and especially pomelos. Pomelos are sold in front of Sam Po Tong, San Bao Dong along Gopeng Road the old route one that links the towns in Perak and neighboring states. These stalls cater mainly for tourists driving into Ipo. Alternatively, one can go right into the Tamban Ampang area where most of the pomelo plantations are located to have more choices and more competitive prices. Tao Fu Fa Chinese, Do Fu Wa or Do Wa a velvety pudding of very soft silken tofu, traditionally flavored with brown sugar syrup. Tong Sui Chinese, Tang Shui sweet broths made with various permutations and combinations of ingredients, such as black beans, sea coconut, yam, sweet potato, longan and others. In Ipo there is a whole row of hawker steels on one particular street dedicated to Tong Sui, called Tang Shui Jia or Dessert Street. Hawker centers There are several large hawker centers in Ipo such as Ipo Garden Woolies Jirai Makan Hoi Teen Dai San Yen 